Kenya is an African serval. Servals are a smaller species of cat that can be found in Africa. Compared to those bigger cats like lions and leopards, they're definitely smaller in stature. Servals are really unique animals in that they have spots and stripes on their body, which really help them camouflage in their habitats. They can be found in savannas and forests and wetlands. And another unique thing about servals is they have very short tails. Keepers noticed that Kenya was grooming his tail more than what is normal. So much so that the hair on the last two to three inches of his tail was really, really short, almost like he got a buzz cut. Over grooming of an area of a body can be caused by a couple different things. It can be caused by allergies, it can be caused by pain in an area, or even maybe stress. So we knew the first thing we wanted to look at was to try to get an x-ray of the tail. He has all of these medical trained behaviors. He is very used to some of the vets and the vet techs. He's gotten to know them really well, and he's gotten used to seeing different medical equipment. So he does feel comfortable in places like the hospital. And so we took him down to our animal hospital and asked him to sit on our x-ray table. Uh, he is trained to hold in a seated position for as long as the trainer is kind of holding him in that position. And that allowed us to get a really good photo of the last several inches of his tail. So once those x-rays came through, it was found that the last inch or so of his tail did have an injury to it. Um, you can kind of see on the x-ray, there's a little bit of a lip in the where those bones connect. And uh, that was likely causing Kenya some discomfort. So now we knew that it wasn't a stress issue and it wasn't an allergy issue, we could move forward with treatment. So for Kenya, that meant just some kind of pain management. And so far we have seen no change in the area, which is really good news. Um, but it is something we're gonna continue to monitor. We're gonna watch him and his behavior to make sure he stays comfortable as he ages. Kenya loves to get out and go on walks with his keepers. It's really good for him to get out and see and smell all of the different things that the zoo has to offer. He gets to uh, kind of take a look at some of the other animals that are in the area, smell what's going on, scratches claws on different trees and branches, and even eat some grass. I've never seen a cat that didn't like to eat grass. Um, so he takes these walks fairly regularly with his keepers. Um, these are usually either behind the scenes at the zoo or before the zoo opens. Kenya is also a very commonly spotted animal at our stage shows in the outdoor learning theater at the zoo.